Hello children happy to see you all in yet another interesting revision session today we will be revising i want lesson nouns tenses and few of the grammar book pages shall we start quick recap of the lesson i want i want lesson is about a little monkey who wants to be big and strong a wise woman hears him and she gives him a magic wand and tells him that all his wishes can come true a giraffe comes by and a giraffe is eating the sweet leaves at the top of the trees i want a long neck the monkey says and pop he grows a long neck just like the giraffe and the little monkey is very happy next he sees an elephant which comes down to the river and the elephant is filling its trunk with water and blowing it all over himself i want to do that too the little monkey says and bang he grows a long trunk just like the elephant he is very happy and says this is fun next little monkey sees a zebra i want stripes like the zebra he says and whiz he grows stripes all over his body just like the zebra he is very very happy now the monkey he goes to the river to try out his new trunk and he sees himself in the water and he cries mother help a monster so the mother says that's not a monster that is you you wanted a long neck like a giraffe an elephant trunk a stripes like a zebra don't you remember the mother says and the little monkey cries and cries and says i look awful awful means unpleasant ugly yes so he says i want to be my myself again and pop bang and whiz he becomes himself again he jumps for joy and he throws away the magic wand into the river he never wants to be anyone else again the story i want was written by judy ling judy ling wrote the story i want quickly take out your rough note and pencil children as we are reading and revising you will also be writing each of what mrs is telling you three times in your rough note shall we start children first we are going to revise dictation words number 1 strong s t r o n g strong write in your rough note children s t r o n g strong s t r o n g strong s t r o n g strong the second word magic m a g i c magic m a g i c magic m a g i c magic the next word wand w a n d wand w a n d wand w a n d wand the next word stretch s t r e t c h stretch say and write children in your rough note s t r e t c h stretch s t r e t c h stretch bang b a n g bang b a n g bang b a n g bang the next word stripes s t r i p e s stripes s 
टी आर आई पीई एस स्ट्राइक्स एस टी आर आई पीई एस स्ट्राइक्स द नेक्स्ट वर्ड मॉन्स्टर एम ओ एन एस टी ई आर मॉन्स्टर एम ओ एन एस टी ई आर मॉन्स्टर एम ओ एन एस टी ई आर मॉन्स्टर द नेक्स्ट वर्ड ऑफुल ए डब्ल्यू एफ यू एल ऑफुल ए डब्ल्यू एफ यू एल ऑफुल ए डब्ल्यू एफ यू एल ऑफुल द नेक्स्ट वर्ड मंकी एम ओ एन के ई वाई मंकी एम ओ एन के ई वाई मंकी एम ओ एन के ई वाई मंकी द लास्ट वर्ड विश डब्ल्यू आई एस एच विश डब्ल्यू आई एस एच विश डब्ल्यू आई एस एच विश नाउ वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट रोमन नंबर चिल्ड्रेन इन द लेसन आई वॉन्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज द सिनेमस मिस विल रीड द क्वेश्चन यू आर गोइंग टू राइट ओनली द आंसर इन यूर आफ नोट थ्री टाइम्स ओके चिल्ड्रेन द फर्स्ट सिनेम इज वॉन्ड अ लॉन्ग टेन स्टिक Repeat and write the answer alone in your rough note. Want a long, thin stick. Want a long, thin stick. L O N G long, T H I N T S T I C K stick. Want a long, thin stick. Want. A long, thin stick. L O N G long, T H I N T S T I C K stick. Shall we go to the second one? Bang! A loud noise. Bang! A loud noise. Bang! A loud noise. Write in your rough note, children. Say and write. L O U D loud. 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 Noise. N O I S E noise. N O I S E noise. N O I S E noise. Bang. A loud noise. Next one, awful. What's the meaning for awful? Unpleasant. Awful, unpleasant. Awful, unpleasant. U n p l e a s a n t. Unpleasant. U n p l e a S A N T unpleasant U N P L E A S A N T unpleasant The next synonym is wish The meaning for wish is desire wish desire wish desire wish desire D E S I R E desire D E S I R E desire D E S I R E desire the next synonym wise the meaning for wise is clever wise clever wise clever C L E V E R clever C L E V E R clever 
C L E V E R clever okay children now next we will be writing the antonyms only the answer alone you write children in your rough note miss will read the question you are going to repeat the answer and write the answer three times okay the first antonym is strong what's the opposite for strong weak strong weak strong weak write the spelling for weak three times w e a k weak w e a k weak w e a k weak the next opposite is that is the next antonym is top top bottom top bottom top bottom write the spelling for bottom b o t t o m bottom b o t t o m bottom b o t t o m bottom the next long long short long short long short s h o r t short s h o r t short s h o r t short the next antonym is up down up down up down d o w n down d o w n down d o w n down the next opposite is remember forget remember forget remember forget f o r g e t forget f o r g e t forget f o r g e t forget okay now take a break children keep your pencil down we'll go through the other exercises also in this lesson but for now you keep your pencil down whichever word miss is telling you to write alone that alone if you write in your rough note is enough now okay now the next roman number we are going to see is frame sentences yes miss will give one word you have to frame your own sentence you can think and frame your own sentence to children miss is just going to give you the example of how to frame a sentence now the first one is sweet for sweet how can i frame a sentence i will say ram likes to eat sweet ram likes to eat sweet you can also write i like to eat sweet or you can even frame your own sentence children the next word is magic yes you can say we went for a magic show or i love magic shows i like magic you can frame and write your own sentence children the next word is monster i would say the monkey look like a monster the monkey look like a monster you can frame and write your own sentence for the word monster children okay now we were going to revise the question and answers answer the following number 1 who gave the magic wand who gave the magic wand yes you are right i can hear you all saying the answers a wise woman gave the magic wand a wise woman gave the magic wand a wise woman gave the magic wand now in your rough note write the spelling for wise woman w i s e wise 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 next write woman spelling w o m a n woman w o 
M A N woman. A wise woman gave the magic wand. Who gave the magic wand? A wise woman gave the magic wand. Now second question. What did the giraffe eat? What did the giraffe eat? The giraffe ate the sweet leaves at the top of the trees. The giraffe ate the sweet leaves at the top of the trees. The giraffe ate the sweet leaves at the top of the trees. Say once more. What did the giraffe eat? The giraffe ate the sweet leaves at the top of the trees. Now, in your rough note, Mrs. is going to call up some words. Only those spellings you write three times. Okay? Right. Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. Giraffe. H A T E. H A T E. H A T E. H. Now next, write the spelling for leaves. L E A V E S. Leaves. L E A V E S. Leaves. L E A V E S. Leaves. Now next question. What did the little monkey wish on seeing zebra? What did the little monkey wish on seeing zebra? On seeing zebra, the little monkey wished to have stripes all over his body. Yes, on seeing zebra, repeat all of you. On seeing zebra, the little monkey wished to have stripes all over his body. Say again. On seeing zebra, the little monkey wished to have stripes all over his body. On seeing zebra, the little monkey wished to have stripes all over his body. Now write the spelling for stripes. S-T-R-I-P-E-S. Stripes. S-T-R-I-P-E-S. Stripes. Next, wished. W I S H E D wished W I S H E D wished W I S H E D wished Now next question Why did the little monkey cry Why did the little monkey cry The little monkey cried because it looked like a monster. Yes, you all are right. Say again children. The little monkey cried because it looked like a monster. The little monkey cried because it looked like a monster. Say once more. The little monkey cried because it looked like a monster. Now write the spelling for cried. C-R-I-E-D. Cried. C-R-I-E-D. Cried. C-R-I-E-D. Cried. Next. Because. Write the spelling for because. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Because. B E C A U S E because B E C A U S E because looked L O O K E D looked L O O K E D looked L O O K E D looked now the last question in this lesson children. Where did the little monkey throw the magic wand? 
Where did the little monkey throw the magic wand? Yes, little monkey threw the magic wand into the river. Little monkey threw the magic wand into the river. Little monkey threw the magic wand into the river. Now say the spelling and write for through. T H R E W. Through. T H R E W. Through. T H R E W. Through. Next, river. Write the spelling for river. R I V E R. River. R I V E R. River. R I V E R. River. Number thirty-five. Match the animal to its group. You are going to match the animal according to how we call them. As a group, a bee, a swarm of bees. So when you see a group of bees together, we should call it as a swarm of bees. A bee, a swarm of bees. A bee, a swarm of bees. A cow, a herd of cows. A cow, a herd of cows. A cow. A herd of cows, a lion, a pride of lions, a lion, a pride of lions, a lion, a pride of lions, a bird, a flock of birds, a bird, a flock of birds, a bird, a flock of birds. Exercise in page number thirty-five. The monkey wrote to his mother, "I look awful." He made two mistakes. What are they? Write the sentence correctly. Now look at the sentence, children. Does it begin with a capital letter? No, right? So that was the first mistake the monkey made. And what is the second mistake? Always while ending a sentence, a sentence will either End with a punctuation mark. Yes, did he end with a full stop there? No, right? So that was the second mistake. So when you are rewriting the sentence, you will write as "I look awful." You will begin with the capital letter and you end with a full stop. So these were the two mistakes that the monkey made. Now next we are going to revise tenses. We are going to revise tenses. Present tense and past tense. We'll see few words of present tense and past tense. Now, what is present tense? Anything which is happening right now is present tense. Any action what we are doing right now is present tense. What is happening currently? And what is past tense? Any action which is completed or which happened yesterday or day before yesterday or last month, last year. Yes, or last night, anything which is completed, any action or anything which has already happened, which has completed, we say as past tense. Now, for example, if you see the word walk in the present tense, if I say, I will say, I walk in the garden. That means I'm presently doing it. I'm walking in the garden. I walk in the garden is the present tense. Now the same word walk. If I'm using it in a past tense sentence, I would say she walked in the garden. She walked. That means she completed the action. The action is completed. So anything which has already completed and which has already happened, we say it as past tense. Now let us see few words. You all repeat along with me, children. Walk. The past tense for walk is. Walked, walk, walked, walk, walked, walk, walked. W a l k e d, walked. W a l k e d, walked. W a l k e d, walked. 
The second one, where, wall, where, wall, where, wall, W O R E, wall, W O R E, wall, W O R E, wall. The third word is old. What is the past tense for old? Eld. Old. Eld. Old. Eld. H e l d. Eld. H e l d. Eld. H e l d. Eld. The next word is say. The past tense for say is said. Say. Said. Say. Said. S a i d. Said. S a i d. Said. S a i d. Said. The next word is want. Want. Wanted. Want. Wanted. Want. Wanted. W a n t e d. Wanted. W a n t e d. Wanted. W a n t e d wanted the next word is take took take took take took t o o k took t o o k took t o o k took the next word is come came come came come came c a m e came c a m e came c a m e came the next word is can what is the past tense for can could can could can could c o u l d could c o u l d could C O U L D could the next word is blow what's the past tense for blow blue blow blue blow blue blow blue B L E W blue B L E W blue B L E W blue the last one is give the past tense for give is gave give gave give gave g a v e gave g a v e gave g a v e gave okay children now let us revise few of the grammar pages okay before that What is the noun? Tell me what is the noun? Yes, you all know right. What is the noun? A noun names a person, place, animal or thing. A noun names a person, place, animal or thing. A noun names a person, place, animal or thing common noun general name of a person place animal or thing is called common noun what is common noun children the general name that we give for a person place animal or thing is called common noun and what is proper noun yes a special name we give for a person place animal or thing is called proper noun a special name which we give for a person place animal or thing is called proper noun particular or special names of cities days months festival holidays books people etc are proper nouns all proper nouns begins with 
capital letter. Now shall we revise the pages 10, 11, 12 and 13 from your grammar book. Write the naming words under the correct heading. Not the example. See they have given you some words in a box. You have to correctly write them under person, animal, place or thing. They have given you already an example there. Girl is already written under person. The next word which is given there is basket. Basket comes under thing. Next muffins. Muffins also comes under thing. Trees. Trees also come under thing. Next wolf. Wolf is what? Wolf is an animal. So write it under animal. Next bushes. Bushes comes under thing. Next butterfly. Butterfly is an insect. It is an animal. So write it under animal. Next flowers. Flowers is a thing. Road. Road comes under what? Road is a place, isn't it? So write it under place. Next, clouds. Clouds are what? Clouds come under thing. Next, garden. Garden is what? Garden is a place, isn't it? So garden comes under place. Next, woman. A woman comes under person. Next, Shoes. Shoes come under thing. Next, frog. Frog comes under thing. Next, stick. Stick comes under thing. House. House comes under place. Now, next page, page number 11. Is the word in bold the name of a person, place, animal or thing? Yes, one has been done for you. See, already one is done there. Shall we complete? Yes, we will go through the sentence and we are going to write whether they come under person, place, animal or thing. The words which are in bold, that is which is highlighted in the sentence, those words we are going to write whether they come under person, place, animal or thing. Now the first one, Aladdin found a lamp in the cave. Now, Aladdin, lamp and cave words are in bold. See, already Aladdin, they have written person there. Like that, we have to write for the other words which are in bold, what they come under. Now, lamp. Lamp comes under what? Lamp is a thing. So, we should write thing. Next, cave. Cave is a place. So, write place. Second sentence, Cactus grows in a desert. Cactus grows in a desert. Cactus and desert are in bold. Cactus is what? Cactus is a plant. So it comes under thing. So we should write thing. Next, desert. Desert is a place. So we should write place. Now the next sentence. A fisherwoman sells fish in the market. Fisherwoman and fish and market are in bold. So what would we write for fisherwoman? Fisherwoman comes under person. So we will write person. Fish, animal and market, place. Now the fourth sentence. The students assembled in the all. Yes, the words students and all are in bold. So students... Our word students is a common noun. For all the children who have studied in the school, we say as students. Yes? So it is the common word which we use. So what will we write? We should write person. Students come under person. And all is a place. So we write place. And a sailor went to Africa on his ship. The words sailor Africa and ship are in bold. Yes, sailor comes under person. Sailor is a person. Africa is a place. And ship is a thing. Let's see some more examples children. 
the girl is playing with the dog the words girl and dog is in bold now girl is what girl is person so you should write person and dog comes under animal so you will write animal another example a boy is riding a cycle on the road a boy is riding a cycle on the road the words boy cycle and road are in bold now what you should do you should write what boy cycle and road comes under boy comes under what boy comes under person and cycle is a thing road comes under place now the next exercise what do we call the following read the clues and write the names they have given you some sentences they are the clue for you yes you have to read the sentence and write the name for it yes shall we start the first one a book in which we collect photographs a book in which we collect photographs album a book in which we collect photographs album a book in which we collect photographs album a l b u m album a l b u m album a l b u m album second a tall plant with a thick woody trunk and many branches a tall plant with a thick woody trunk and many branches tree yes very good a tall plant with a thick woody trunk and many branches tree next third one an animal with a bump that lives in a desert easy right what is it camel yes you are right an animal with a bump that lives in a desert camel c a m e l camel c a m e l camel next a path on which cars buses and people move a path on which cars buses and people move road r o a d road a path on which cars buses and people move r o a d road next a container to keep liquids hot or cold a container to keep liquids hot or cold vacuum flask vacuum flask v a c u u m vacuum f l a s k flask v a c u u m vacuum f l a s k flask now the next exercise some nouns are special they begin with a capital letter read the clues and name the following yes miss already told you about the special nouns yes what are special nouns the special names we give for a person place animal or thing yes any particular special names of the days months festivals books all these also come under special that is proper nouns yes shall we read the clues and identify what are they the first sentence a festival to celebrate the birth of jesus christ yes christmas a festival to celebrate the birth of jesus christ christmas a festival to celebrate the birth of jesus christ christmas c h r i s t m a s christmas we children c h r i s t m a s christmas c h r i s t m a s christmas the second one without a doubt the first month of the year without a doubt the first month of the year what is it january yes j a n u a r y january j a n u a r y january the first prime minister of india 
पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया न्यू दिल्ली द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया न्यू दिल्ली द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया न्यू दिल्ली एन ई डब्ल्यू न्यू डी ई एल एच आई न्यू दिल्ली एन ई डब्ल्यू न्यू डी ई एल एच आई न्यू दिल्ली द नेम ऑफ योर सिटी चेन्नई द नेम ऑफ योर सिटी चेन्नई द नेम ऑफ योर सिटी चेन्नई सी एच ई एन एन ए आई चेन्नई सी एच ई एन एन ए आई चेन्नई सी एच ई एन एन ए आई चेन्नई नाउ नेक्स्ट पेज पेज नंबर ट्वेल्व राइट द कॉमन नेम ऑफ ईच इमेज ऑन द गिवेन डैश Give each image a proper name and write it on the given. See, they have given in green color there. You have to write the proper name in that place. Yes. Now, first, what picture is given there? It is a cartoon, isn't it? So the common name would be cartoon, and the proper name. What cartoon is that? Yes. Who is that? That is Tom. So you will write cartoon and. Tom. Next, what picture is given there? Teacher. Yes, the common name is teacher. And shall we give the teacher a name? Yes, Miss Rosie. Next, toothpaste. Yes, toothpaste is given there. What toothpaste is that? Shall we give the toothpaste a name? Yes, Colgate. Next, hospital picture is given there. Yes, shall we give the hospital a name? E M Hospital. Next, car. Car is the common name there. Yes. Shall we give the car a name? Maruti. Next, school. School picture is given there. Yes. We will write Everwin School. Underline the naming words in the following sentences. Write C for common noun and P for proper noun. Note the example. See the first one they have already did there for you. Yes. It's easy, children. You have to just identify the nouns and you have to write whether they are common or proper. Now, the first one: kangaroos roam freely in Australia. Kangaroos is what? Kangaroos is common. Yes, if I say kangaroo, only I will write as proper noun. But kangaroos, I am saying. Yes, so it is a common noun. So I will write C. Australia is what? Is the place. We are giving the place, the country, a name. That is Australia. So we are giving it a special name. So we will write P. Now second one: the Pied Piper played his flute, and the rats followed him. Now first we are going to underline the nouns there. The Pied Piper is a person, so we will underline that. Flute is a thing, so we underline that as well. And rats is an animal. Now we are going to write whether they are common or proper. That is C or P. The Pied Piper is a Proper noun. We are giving the person a name, so we'll write P. Next, flute. We are giving the instrument a special name, so there also we'll write P. Next, rats. Rats are common. If we say rat, then we say as proper, but we are, we are saying rats, so we'll write C. Next, third one. Joseph parked his car on Pali Hill Road. Now first, let us underline the nouns there. Joseph. Car and Pali Hill Road are the nouns there. Yes, Joseph is what name of a person. Yes, special name we are giving for a person. So it is a proper noun, right? P. Next, car. Car is what? Car is common or proper? Only are they saying as car. We are not giving the car a name, so it is C. Next, Pali Hill Road. We are giving the road a name, so we'll write P. Next, we add Amul ice cream. Now first, let us underline the nouns there. Arushi and Amul ice cream. Yes, Arushi is what name of a person. So we write P. Now ice cream and Amul ice cream is given. The name of the ice cream is given. We are giving the ice cream a name. So what would we write P or C? We'll write P. My parents took me to the Lotus Temple in Delhi. Now first, let us underline the nouns there. Yes. Parents, Lotus Temple and Delhi are the nouns. Yes, parents are what? Common or proper? All of us have parents, right? We say as 
parents yes both father and mother we call them as parents so right c that is a common noun next lotus temple we are giving the temple a name so we will write p and delhi is the name of a place we are giving the place a name so we will write p let us see some more examples jaden went to the hospital on saturday jaden went to the hospital on saturday yes first let us underline what are the nouns here jaden hospital and saturday are the nouns here yes jaden comes under what jaden is the name of a person so it is a proper noun so we should write p next hospital hospital is what it's a place which we all commonly use isn't it so we should write c for hospital and for saturday what is saturday saturday is a proper noun miss told you right the days of the week also come under proper noun so we will underline saturday and you will write p next sentence the boys visited the kurenji park now what are the nouns here boys and kurenji park yes boys come boys are what boys come under common noun so you will write c next kurenji park the name of the park is given so what will you write it is a proper noun so we should write p now the last page page number 13 there are many names given in the tiles identify the nouns and write them below the correct headings common noun or proper nouns now the first word given in the tile is hotel hotel comes under common noun next curtain curtain comes under common noun swan swan also comes under common noun next diwali diwali is a name of a festival it comes under proper noun next king king comes under common noun japan japan comes under proper noun rani park name of the park is given so it comes under proper noun next kolkata kolkata comes under proper noun santa claus name of a person comes under proper noun axe axe comes under common noun next red fort red fort comes under proper noun the last is gower gower comes under common noun now the next exercise each sentence has two proper nouns one is underlined and circle the other now they have given you a sentence in each sentence there will be two proper nouns one will be underlined the other one you have to identify and circle it now the first one mary goes to church every sunday sunday is underlined now what is the other proper noun there mary so what we should do circle mary next we will be in delhi in october october is underlined what is the other proper noun the name of the place that is delhi so we should circle delhi next the sharma family lives near belapur sharma is underlined the name of a person belapur is the name of a place so we should circle belapur next mehul as name is pet franki mehul is underlined the other proper noun there is franki the name of the pet so circle franki next did you buy the jungle book from the crossword bookstore the jungle book is the name of a book miss already told you isn't it even special names given to books festivals days months all of these come under proper noun so the jungle book here is underlined the other proper noun in the sentence is what crossword bookstore the name of the bookstore is given so you should circle crossword bookstore let us see some examples we will visit new delhi in december the word new delhi is underlined now what is the other proper noun here the other proper noun is 
December. Even months of the year also come under proper noun. So we should circle December. Next, Gayatri goes to the Oxford bookstore every Sunday. Yes, the word Sunday is underlined. What are the other proper nouns here in the sentence? Gayatri and Oxford bookstore. These are the other two proper nouns here. So we should circle Gayatri and Oxford bookstore. The last exercise. Read the sentences and spot the errors. Rewrite the incorrect words correctly. Now first one, Friday comes before Saturday. Now what is the error there in that sentence? What Miss told you? Even days of the week are all proper nouns. All proper nouns begin with capital letter. Does Saturday begin here with capital letter? No, right? So when you are rewriting, you will write as Friday comes before Saturday. Saturday S should be in capital letter. Second one, where will you go in June? Yes, what is the error here? See there, June, month of the year, also is a proper noun. Is it beginning with a capital letter? No, right? So when you are rewriting, you write as, where will you go in June? J, you should write in capital letter. Next, third sentence, my brother's name is Ritwik. Yes, in the sentence, Ritwik is a name of a person, proper noun. But the person's name is not written in capital letter, that is Ritwik R. So when you are rewriting, you will write as, my brother's name is Ritwik. R should be in capital. Now the last sentence, Rukmani lives in Chennai. Now what is the error here? See the name of the place, Chennai. Is it starting with a capital letter? No, right? So when you are rewriting, you will write as Rukmani lives in Chennai. C should be in capital letter. Hope you all understood and revised along with me children. Thank you and all the best for your exams.